Now I might have a bad Wi-Fi connection here inside this container. I don't know. But the young man over there on the other side of the pond has got something similar to this. And he wants me to kind of do a little video of how, how to do things. So first thing I want to show him is on this flywheel right there. You see that arrow? That gives you the direction that your flywheel needs to be going. You can spin it like that by itself because your motor's still free spinning. It's not engaged. And then he wants to see what's going on right here when I do this. So I'm going to try and set this up so he can get an idea what it's supposed to do. Then I'm going to show some other things. There's that right there. Now, what I'm going to do is depress. I'm not going to run the engine right now, or the motor right now. I'm going to activate it by pulling the switch or, or clamping down on this switch and then I'm going to spin this see that piece right there of course I'm in a bad spot having to work around the camera see it came out right there again and disengages. Now that flywheel goes around and around and around. Now, I guess I should do that zoomed in for him. Let me get this camera and look. All right, I'm gonna come up here, put that down like that, and then I'm gonna hold it, the camera at least this time around. And give him an eye. Oh, flash. Let's put the flash to it. He's got something broken up off in here somewhere. I'm not sure just where yet. But now, see how I'm spinning that? Okay, now if you come over here, you'll see that table come down. Whoop. It went up. So that is the lowest point right there. Focus camera, focus. Last time I used this table was for an inch and a quarter. If I need to come up, there's my arrows right there. So you just pull this down here and go up a little bit or down a little bit, whichever way you need to go. I always suggest starting high before you click it because you don't really want to try to dig one of these oops I forgot I was zoomed ah damn I don't want to do that either hello uh, you don't want to dig one of them out of that cutting board there but anyway so now it's it's at its lowest point you've checked your your die up against it whether you're using an inch and a quarter or a three quarter and then of course I'm going to come back here and Finish that rotation. And there it is. And now it'll free spin. Now, when I first got this thing, there was a piece inside of there that was loose and fell off. I tightened it up and then I noticed that spring was missing. So that's all I needed to do to get mine up and running again. I do need to throw some oil to it, which I'll do later, not on camera. Uh, so anyway, when I got it, I had to buy a new motor. And that motor came with a bigger pulley. That pulley made this thing double click because it was bigger than that one right there is. And like I said, when I first got it, the motor worked great. It didn't double click. But when I put that new motor on it, 
is when I got the double click out of it. These are supposed to be notorious for double clicking, but that's after you use it all day long in a factory setting. That gets warmed up back in there and it, things stick. So if you're gonna use it in a factory setting on, on an all day deal, cutting out soles, which that's what this machine was designed for, is cut the soles out of heavy leather for shoes and boots. And they do great, 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 great work. But if you're gonna do that, throw a fan on that right there. Keep it cool. So now I'm gonna put the camera back up here and see if we can't get some footage of it clicking for you. And then, whoops. Hang on, folks. I know, I know, I know. I'm, it's a one-man band over here. And I don't know how to play the freaking flute. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to put that in there like that. Is it going to stay? It looks like it is. All right. Now i got to reach over here behind it. I need a bigger shortcut. Let it spin a little bit. I'm going to put my ejection rubber back up off in here. So, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. How come that flash just went off? Oh, well. Might be because the camera's getting warm. So, anyway. Let me get around the camera over here. And there's my first piece I'm going to cut right there. And ta da! Yeah, yeah. All right. See, I need to come down just a hair. So I can get that there cut. Which I can finish that off inside with the shop knife. That's no big deal, but I come over here, pull that down, spin that about two holes, and get the next one done. Uh, I'm working around the camera, so I'm trying not to hit it or kick it. you have your ejection rubber get your mind out of the gutter kids all right now comes the fun part this piece here now this one uh-oh i'm gonna put this piece too small uh wait a minute that injection or, or ejection thing comes in handy. Now the reason I'm this one's one way and the other one's the other way is because there's a left and a right. Like that, which I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But anyway, hopefully, Joff, I believe that's how you pronounce that word. 
Now, if I want to finish this out here, all I got to do is remove this piece here that's got the projection stuff in it. Actually, I'm going to do both. And I can put it right on top of it like where it's supposed to be. Stick that over there like that. And color. There it is. Now the only problem with that is I gotta stick my finger up off in there to get it popped out. Because I've removed that stuff there. So there's that. Hopefully it helps the young man over there across the pond. I'm sure he's not too worried about it right now because I believe they lost one of their whatever they call them over there, kings, queens, monarchs, whatever. Prince Philip, I believe it is. What's going on, little Eric? You need to get you one of these, young man. Let's see if Eric's going to be shy and bashful or not. Can't bring Eric. He didn't want to be on TV. <laughs> All right, well, toodaloo, buggeroos. I'm also going to copy this onto my YouTube account, which is David Mills Saddlery. So it'll be there easier to find with the search option. Toodaloo, buggeroos.